Hi everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can recover your funds off of a broken or lost uh, hardware wallet. So in my case, my cold card Mark IV recently took a dump on me and I'm not here to talk smack on cold card. I really like their products. As a matter of fact, I have a replacement cold card on the way, courtesy of the team at CoinKite. So if you don't have a cold card yet, uh, be sure to check out their website and go pick one up. I'll drop a link below. So the process that I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a fresh software wallet that I can use to send all my Bitcoin to. This is going to have a new seed phrase. That way I can basically make sure that if my wallet gets compromised or whatever, um, I'll, have a I'll have a brand new wallet that, that, um, that is not leaked anywhere. So the idea is going to be this. I'm going to create a fresh software wallet. Then I'm going to create my hardware wallet again as a software version. Uh, in Sparrow, and then I'm going to send the money from the cold card software wallet into the uh, brand new software wallet. And then eventually when I get my new cold card on the way, I could send it from my uh, fresh software wallet into my brand new, uh, you know, my, my new cold card with a brand new seed phrase. So let's go ahead and do that. So like I said, we will be using the Sparrow wallet. If you don't have Sparrow installed on your machine, you could check out one of my earlier videos on how to install Sparrow on your Mac or your Windows machine. I'll link those videos in the description below. And let's start by creating our wallets. So first we need to create um, our temporary recovery wallet. So I'm gonna call this the cold card recovery wallet. And this is gonna be a new software wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one. I'm just gonna use 12 words to make it simple. And I'm gonna generate a passphrase. So now that I have this passphrase right here, I'm going to go ahead and write this down. So give me a second while I do that. Okay. Now that I have my 12 words written down, I'm going to press confirm backup and it's going to give me a test where I have to go in and re input all of them just to make sure I had them written down properly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay. So I have all my stuff written down or re entered, I should say. Now I'm going to just uh, use the default derivation path. So let's go ahead and import the key store and apply. So I'm going to put a passphrase here or not a passphrase. I mean a password to lock my wallet. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So now we have a recovery wallet that we will be sending our money to. So this wallet is going to be a fresh wallet with nothing in it. Now we need to create another software wallet that's going to take the 12 words that we, uh, or take the 24 words that we had when we set up our cold card, uh, our cold card wallet. So basically what's going on here is we are regenerating our cold card wallet or our hardware wallet as, uh, as a software version. So ideally you keep your, your hardware wallet seed on your hardware wallet, but in this situation, uh, you know, let's just say I lost my cold card. You're kind of in a race against time because let's just assume that the attacker who has your cold card, uh, let's just say that they have all the tools available to extract your seed from it. And uh, although this is kind of a you know really low, um, a really low chance that this is actually possible. I mean, cold card is designed to uh, to make it hard to extract the seed from it. It's still something to be cautious about, and I think it's better to be paranoid than to just. Uh, hope for the best in every situation. So in this in this case, I'm going to assume that someone uh, stole my cold card and it's just a matter of time before they can crack it. So the, the goal is to uh, is to log into my cold card wallet through a software version and then send the money out to another wallet that only I control. So to do that, we're going to create a new wallet again. And this is going to be the cold card wallet, but in software version. So I'm going to call this cold card software. And this is also going to be a software wallet. So I'm going to click new or imported software wallet. And I do know that my, uh, that my seed phrase is, tw is 24 words. So I'm going to click use 24 words. And then I'm going to um, input my 24 words that I have written down on my backup card. So if you don't have your backup card, then I'm sorry to say it, but you are, uh, you're out of luck. So um, luckily I still have my 24 words here. So I'm going to go ahead and input all of them now. So I got all my words written in. I'm going to create my key store. Uh, I didn't change my derivation path when I created this wallet. I just imported account zero. So I'm going to leave this as is. I'm going to import key store and we are going to apply. Same thing here. I'm going to put a simple password just to 
just to uh, lock it down. And you'll see it's finding all my transactions. So it recognizes that this wallet has stuff on it. So there we go. So now we have our cold card wallet that is broken. We now created it in software form. So the next step is to send all of my sats that are on this wallet onto another wallet. Because like I said, we are assuming that the cold card wallet was compromised and it's just a race against time. So we're just gonna go down here and click send. And I'm going to send the max to my recovery wallet. And I'm gonna call this recover sats from broken wallet. And I'm gonna send all of it. And see the, um, let's open up mempool.space to get an idea of what the fees look like. So I'm gonna open up mempool.space. You'll see that high priority is about five sats per V-byte. And I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do the high priority because why not? So here we are, let's create our transaction. You can see that I'm supplying all my UTXOs. So at the same time, we're also consolidating and let's finalize for signing, let's sign it. I gotta put my pass, uh, I gotta put my password on over here that I just set up. And there we go. So just like that, we have sent our money off of our uh, compromised or broken cold card and onto a brand new software wallet that only we control. So now the next step would be to, uh, you know, to get our hands on a new hardware wallet and then we could forward these sats back over to a, to a hardware wallet to, to increase our security again. So uh, keep your eyes out for my next video. In my next video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the, uh, the an entire setup of a new cold card wallet again. Um, but in this video, I'm gonna show disaster recovery and um, basically we're gonna make sure that everything is set up before we uh, send any funds to it. So the idea would be in my next video, we create a cold card, we uh, create a 12 word seed phrase, we wipe the seed phrase, then we make sure that we can generate the same wallet by reinserting that seed phrase. And then only after we can confirm that, then will we uh, send the bulk of our funds into our hardware wallet. So if you like this video, please drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you uh, in about a few days when my cold card wallet arrives in the next one. So thanks for watching. Bye.